Hello guys and welcome back to Igniting Illumination. In today's video I'll be drawing Saitama from One Punch Man. So to get started we're drawing it from three quarters of an angle of his face. So we're going to start out with his chin. It's going to be a bit of a wide base and to the right it's going to cur go at a steep angle, the line that is. And then it's going to curve kind of outwards and then inwards and it's going to create kind of a bump that's uh, uh, that's kind of curving inwards on the right side and then you just continue with the round head shape. To the left side of the, his chin you want to draw an uh, angle that's uh, uh, curved at a slight uh, more of an angle uh, m but the, ang the line is going to like curve inwards and outwards and then it's going to you want an even steeper angle that you're going to draw after that that connects to the ear and then after that about just about where connect the head making it round or oval-ish and then for the eye start out with the left side i found to be easiest and make sure you draw kind of a, a curved line for the top of the eye and then another curved line for the bottom of the eye but when you start drawing the bottom of the line you want a slight uh, uh, angle that's a bit more uh, steeper than uh, the top line. Same thing for the right except it's going to be a bit uh, smaller eye since we're, it's uh, all about perspective and it's going to start a bit at the top right and going to curve down to the bottom left and for the bottom of the right eye you want to do another semi, -sur semi uh, oval. And then uh, eyebrows and start a bit about the end of the eyes and they're going to touch the eyes as they come to the middle of the face and to do that and then after you do the eyebrows you want to add in some lines that show that uh, um, are above his eyebrows to kind of show his uh, anger or his serious face to give it kind of that serious uh, expression and for his ear just add a line that goes along the edges and then uh, another line on the inside that's kind of like a question mark and then shade in the parts so that there's kind of like a small <coughs> stream of like white uh, going across so you can kind of see the shapes of the ear and on the right side add in a little ear as well start the top eyebrow and a bit about the nose at ends and then after that draw the neck <clears throat> on the left side the neck is going to start a bit to the left of his ear and on the right side just about where his mouth ends his nose start drawing the bridge of the nose at the end of the left eyebrow going straight down and then just kind of create a triangle without the base for the end of the nose and under that just draw a mouth and leave a space kind of under right under where the nose ends of the mouth and then continue drawing the other side of the mouth and then just add a line underneath the mouth to <clears throat> create kind of shadowing for the under lip and uh, for the body draw a slight bit of the clavicles which you might see and then the I think it's called is it the sternocleidomastoid you see there on the left and right side of his neck and then I added a mantle so I drew just a oval for that was to the left of his clavicle and to the right and then I just drew in the cap and then you draw in all of the folds make sure you get in everything and add in shading so the light is coming from the top left so shade everything so it so you can reflect that and some areas are going to be shaded darker than the other just to create some uh, 3d elements or perspective to the drawing and uh, same thing draw the mantle or the cape on the right side too an oval with the cape draping over his shoulders Remember to add folds at the back there so that it kind of shows that it is uh, draping or falling off of his back 
and uh, near the oval you want to add several lines to do, indicate that it's being pulled or that is held at that position. For that, add in some shading to the neck too. This has been Igniting Illumination. Thank you for watching.